So we want to welcome you today to our service and I hope you loved and enjoyed the worship. And we're just going to jump straight away into the word of the Lord and hear what God has for us in this season. I was doing my Bible study, I landed on Galatians chapter number one. We all know, of course, this is the story where Paul begins to speak about his conversion experience. And in this season of revelation, because that's what we are really talking about, I needed the Lord to speak to us about how revelation connects to the kingdom of God and the realities of the kingdom of God. In Galatians chapter number one, Paul makes some assertions. And this is a man that is very deliberate in his speech. When he speaks, he's just clear cut on. He doesn't mince his words. And in Galatians 1 and verse number 6, he says, As we said before, so now I say again, If any man preach any other gospel unto you, rather than what you have received from us, let him be accursed. If any man preach any other gospel, meaning there's, there's just too many gospels. Uh, I mean, there's a lot that can be preached. We, we can preach about going to the sun, to the moon. There's just too much that men have preached. Paul says, if any other gospel is preached to you by any other man, let this man be accursed. And in verse number 10, he says, And I'm not trying to persuade men or to persuade God. And I don't try to please men. For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Verse 11, But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after men. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it by men, but by the revelation of of Jesus Christ but by the revelation of Jesus Christ now this is where we're going to have our conversation today it's a teaching but we're going to have a conversation really about how revelation connects to the realities of the kingdom of God and today I'm together with prophet Ezra and we want to be of ministry to you but I need to say this before we even go any further that without revelation it is impossible to step into the realities of the kingdom of God. Without revelation, it is impossible to step into the realities of the kingdom of God. And this is what we are really going to be talking about here today. Uh, Prophet, uh, thank you for joining us today. Amen. And, um, you know, it's always a, a pleasure to have you. And uh, one thing I have noticed about our times is that unless a man walks in the revelation of Jesus Christ, it's practically impossible for them to step into the realities of the kingdom of God. And, and the thing that is on my spirit right now is that it's possible to have joined a kingdom yes. and still not benefit from the kingdom that you joined. Mm -hmm. It's possible that you've been a Christian for a long time. And yes, we are born again into the kingdom of God. Yes. But yet not have this kingdom begin to be real mm -hmm. in your spirits and in your life. Yes. The first place I want us to start is with the king of this kingdom. Yes. <laughs> in John chapter number 4, I believe in verse number 24, he says, God is yes. spirit. Okay. Yes. And those that worship him must. Mm -hmm. It's That's not yeah. could or, you know, they must worship him in spirit mm -hmm. and in truth. Yeah. So the realities of the kingdom do not come to pass. Mm. Unless a man has stepped into that place of the spirit. Yes. Yes. And when Paul begins to say that the gospel that I preached, mm -hmm. I did not preach it after a man. I didn't even receive it from a man. Yes. But by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Yes. I begin to see that I think the, the hardest thing with realizing the kingdom of God in your life is because this God of this kingdom is spirit. So everything about this kingdom mm -hmm. is spirit. Yes, that's right. The God is spirit. Yes. He has made us spirit. spirit. The that's worship right. is spirit. Yeah. I mean, everything is in the realm of the spirit. Mm -hmm. So the reality is in fact the spiritual reality. Yeah, yeah. And for most of us, uh, uh, this is where the trouble begins. Mm -hmm. I'm 30 years old. Yes. No, that's not my that's age now. Okay. I'm giving an example. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've spent 30 years... Mm -hmm. Living a natural, carnal wow. life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wake up, I go to work, yes. I come back home. It's, it's, 
I live in the natural, mm-hmm. but I'm expected to manifest in the spiritual. Yes. I live in a yes. natural world, and I am expected to have a spiritual reality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, that is the place where we struggle the most. Yes. Is how can a man who is born natural, living in a natural world with natural sight, everything around me is natural. Mm-hmm. How, do they, how do I then come out to live as a man of the spirit? And realize things like revelation mm-hmm. that are supposed to make me experience the kingdom yes. of God. Yeah. This is the place that I would want us to have a conversation about. Mm-hmm. And I believe by the time we finish this in the few minutes that we have, mm-hmm. the Lord would have at least ministered to one or two people. So I'm going to let you say something about that. And then we shall jump into Galatians 1 and see what Paul is actually saying. Thank you so much mm-hmm. to everyone viewing us today. We're so excited to come to you. Uh, one of the greatest things that um, you know, you just quoted John, where he says, "For they that worship me must worship me in spirit." But if you notice, that spirit is really understanding; it's revelation. All right. So you can't worship God outside revelation. That means you have to step into a reality. The same John, I think it's it's six, or where he says, "For the words I speak, their spirit and their life." So even Jesus Himself operated outside the natural reality that means the words that he spoke de- were a certain nature though we had them with the carnal ears there you go. but but they were of a certain nature they will not mean sense not until you are transferred into the being that is equipped to listen to what he said there you go so like you said Alion, and that's what the generation is struggling with is that we are trying to decrypt uh, conversations that are more spiritual and try to give them a verbal utterance in the natural. We can't. We will error. That's why you see we have, you know, you know, everyone changing the gospel to what is. And I like the fact that Paul says not any other gospel. Not any other gospel. Because there is the dividing line where the natural releases a gospel. Yes. But there is that place whereby yes. you know that you know. Yes. That anything I am speaking has to line up with actually what the king said and yes. he said. Yes. Because there is a pattern to what God is saying. It's either he said it or he's saying it. Yes. Depending on what paradigms you're living in, what he said is what he's continuously saying. Yes. So the place of revelation is very important because we get to know from what place God is speaking from. And what he is actually communicating within that time. True. Yeah. And if we, we miss that, we'll actually misappropriate the conversations of our times. Mm-hmm. That's why we're, we, we're trying to get an old covenant conversation and into trying a covenant to into a new covenant setting. We will miss it because we are outside the realms of revelation. And, you know, let me just get this straight. Is that Revelation is not just a place. It's a person. Mm-hmm. Not until you, because when you get to that mm-hmm. place, you're transferred into a person of revelation. Yes. Not just a place of revelation. Not just an understanding. Yeah. Most people are, are, are trying, let's, let's get the presence of God mm-hmm. into this atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Let's welcome the presence, you know. Mm-hmm. I was joking with somebody some time ago and I said, if you're still welcoming the presence of God, then there is a problem. You haven't yet stepped into his presence. Mm-hmm. Because if you're in his presence, there is no need to welcome him. Mm -hmm. He is there with you. Mm -hmm. So the place of revelation translates you that you do not have to welcome him anymore. You have become him in his presence. That's true. That's why we reflect the image of the living God. You know, just when we behold him, just as in a mirror. When you get there, revelation it translates into the same it image. changes you. From glory to glory. You do not talk about a place, you become the place. Now you've gone to P7. <laughs> now let's, let's come down. <laughs> let me bring you to P1. Yes. When, when Paul speaks about any other gospel, mm-hmm. what catches my attention is it's possible to have a gospel mm-hmm. that is not the gospel. Very important. When you talked about the natural gospel, yes, I think what, what comes quickly to me is that the gospel is meant for a certain kind of man. True. And this is the True. man of the spirit. That's right. Now, any other gospel means that I appropriate mm-hmm. what he did because yeah. the gospel is, in fact, the finished works, finished of, works Jesus. of Jesus. Yeah. 
and our part or our involvement in that finished work. Mm -hmm. Now, if I can preach about Jesus Christ yes. and still not preach the, the gospel, gospel. Mm -hmm. that means the problem is not with what I am preaching. Mm -hmm. It is really on what I'm appropriating that gospel towards. My God. Now, this is when what we preach mm -hmm. must have a certain end to it. Yeah. The end here should be men being men of the spirit. Very right. But if the gospel we preach is pushing men to be comfortable in the natural. Mm. Mm. Are you there now? Yeah. yeah. If, if we are talking about the gospel and how it can make me comfortable in the world. Mm -hmm. If the gospel cannot disturb me into the purposes of God. Lord. If the gospel mm. cannot awaken in me the man of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Then I have had a gospel, yeah. but not the, the gospel. gospel. Mm -hmm. Now, the gospel is clear, Jesus says. It's the gospel of the, the kingdom, kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So what is it about the gospel of the kingdom mm. that then translates into making this man's spirit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful that you said that uh, when we worship, mm -hmm. in spirit and in truth, it is a place of revelation and the person of revelation. Yes, Because when we talk about revelation, we are talking about the understanding of the spirit the spirit so when i know in the spirit when mm. i live in the spirit mm -hmm. when when everything i do is from the realm of the spirit mm. i'm living by revelation mm. now this is where the men of the new church had to be caught up into the spirit mm -hmm. to see revelation yes yes all these past uh, weeks we've been teaching about the book of revelation, revelation. Mm. and uh, the first thing that must happen mm -hmm. For John to write the book. He has, he has the there you go. John must be caught up in the, the spirit. spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, if he's not caught up in the spirit, mm -hmm. he cannot. Not. He cannot right. see revelation. Mm -hmm. He cannot write revelation. Mm -hmm. It's not something you borrow for a time. Mm -hmm. The Lord has to transfer you to that place. Very right. So the kingdom of God becomes the arrangement of the divine. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Where he sets up this system mm -hmm. where men now are not just caught up into, into the, the spirit, spirit. Mm -hmm. but they live yeah. in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So for as long as a man begins to live in the spirit, yes. he has in fact begun to experience yes. yeah. the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Now that reality does not make sense in the natural because the natural is looking for a way to. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not looking for transformation. Mm -hmm. it's, it's looking for a way. How yeah. can I solve this? Mm -hmm. Well, if they lay hands on you, it will be it solved. Will be solved. Yeah. So they step in for the laying on of hands. Yeah. Yeah. But have you ever asked yourself what happens in the hands of the man? Of the man. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that laid his hand on you. There's something else yeah. that's greater than what I'm dealing with. Very right. So this kingdom reality mm -hmm. is now the place of the of spirit. The spirit. Yes. Now this place of the spirit, before we go to the person that you're talking about, yeah. is a place that Paul then says mm -hmm. that the gospel, and we, I want us to now move in, in it, just move it uh, piece by piece. Yes. Okay? He says, you know, we even skipped verse 8, which was more dangerous. <laughs> verse 8 said, but though we, we included himself. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Or an angel from heaven, heaven. Mm -hmm. preach any other gospel unto you mm -hmm. than that which we have preached unto you. Mm -hmm. Let him be, be accursed. A Mm -hmm. Let the angel be. Of course, it's like an oxymoron. The angel <laughs> will not come down and start preaching a gospel, obviously, because he lives in this in experience. experience. He lives. Yes. He lives. He knows what heaven is like. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. verse nine. As we said before, so now I say again: If any man preach any other gospel unto you mm -hmm. than that which we have received, let him be yeah, accursed. Mm -hmm. Th this is strong language, mm -hmm. but this is the only way, because remember, he's about to tell the Galatians who bewitched who you. Okay? Yes. <laughs> he's, he's speaking like this because the Galatian church was a stubborn yeah. church. Yeah. This, yeah. this was a church that began in the spirit mm -hmm. and ended up Ended in the, the flesh. flesh. Yeah. He says, how, how can that even happen? Mm -hmm. okay, so this is the, the language he's using. Yeah. Let this man be accursed. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I wanted us to note here is with mm. the reality. Mm. You, you can't live in a reality that mm. hasn't been preached to you. Yeah, very right. Very right. If you preach the gospel, mm -hmm. the reality, reality will gospel. come to pass. That's right. So he kept speaking the gospel of the kingdom, mm -hmm. preaching the gospel, gospel of the kingdom, mm -hmm. so that the reality may change. May mm -hmm. change. Yeah. Now, if we don't change what we hear, mm. 
we cannot change. we cannot change the reality in which yeah. we live yes. yes so a natural man who keeps hearing natural reality mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's natural yeah but it's being preached continuously the world keeps preaching yes Yes. The screens are bigger. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I, I got a 32 inch, but now it looks like a monitor. <laughs> I need to get a 70 inch. Yeah. The cars are bigger, mm -hmm. everything, the billboards are bigger. Yeah. Because they are preaching. Yeah. They are preaching to my carnal man. Mm -hmm. They're telling my carnal man that for you to be smart, you mm -hmm. have to wear a tie, a tie. Regardless of what the weather is. <laughs> okay. So I have received that. Yeah. And it has become a reality in yeah. my spirit. And yeah. now I manifest it. Mm -hmm. So he's saying if any man preach, let him be a cast. That yes. word a cast is, you know, a cast is when a seed that has potential to live. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Is given, this, this a cast is to kill a seed that has a potential to live. Yes. So yes. that it can no longer produce its fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So preach the gospel. Yes. But if you're not preaching any other gospel, mm. let whatever you're preaching die, die. Yeah. from its root. Very important. So this is the first thing which I, I needed you to make a comment on. Mm -hmm. Is realities begin at the place mm -hmm. of the preaching. preaching. Yeah. And that preach, of course, the word preach is to announce. Yes. It's, yes. it's not just to quote scripture. Yes. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's to say, let there be. Yes. Now, the more we announce this reality of the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. The more it comes to pass in our life. Yes, yes. One of the greatest things I think um, we must come to understand, I think, you and I, is that we have, we have actually. There's actually Paul really says it. Yeah. We have come to have a couple of people that have tweaked this gospel. You know, quoting saying the kingdom of God does not necessarily prove that you preach the kingdom. And a lot of people, you know, because I used it in my sermon does not necessarily mean that I'm preaching. I'm preaching the yes. Yeah. Because, you know, we, we, we end up having this notion that when I said the kingdom of God, I actually announced it. No. And, and I like that you said there's a difference between announcing and quoting. We tend to quote kingdom and not announce kingdom. Because as far as we announce kingdom, we prove its presence. Let me say that again. Wherever the kingdom is announced, it is proven. And every time Jesus went to a place and he preached the kingdom, he announced it. So Paul understood, and if we, we, we read in, I think it's Acts chapter 19, where he came from Ephesus and landed into the, in the, to the holes and he discussed with people for three years. The Bible says he discussed and debated on the kingdom of God. Things pertaining, pertaining to, the to the And he proved it. With signs, wonders, wonders. And, and, and I think it's Matthew where he says, and Jesus preached the kingdom of God and he healed the blind and the maimed. That word maimed means men that didn't even have legs received legs. Like the kingdom is proven. So Paul is saying we, did, we do not preach what we just know. Yes. We had to have heard it from the original author of it. Let's, let's get that out. Let's first put that out. Because Paul did not preach because he was just receiving revelation. No, it was the author that gave him what to preach. All right? So whatever the author said is what also the author announced. We must get those two clear. Whatever Jesus announced is what we must announce. And that is what the gospel is. Let me, let me push it for you. Yes. You can preach out of a theological understanding. Mm -hmm. you, you went to Bible school, yes. you know it. Yes. And uh, this announce mm. is coming from a certain persuasion. Yes. Yeah. That's right. This, this, this announce is, I have been sent because I'm from there. Yes. Very important. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This, this announce is, I'm a witness of it. Of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Th this announce is, it is a reality to me. Mm -hmm. So I would want to make it a reality to you yes it's not just that i know it mm -hmm. but i know it enough to pass it on to you to you yeah and you will also sense that i know it because yes. it is a reality to me no. you cannot pass on a reality that, that you, you know, have not no. received yeah yeah so he says this one we received mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay yeah. this one we became it yeah now we can preach it we can preach it that's so, true 
the reality that is preached, this is, this is the thing that is on my mind, mm. is that over the years I have noticed mm. that the kingdom of God mm-hmm. always came to effect yes. when men became spirit. Mm. All right. Now, the reality of the spirit preaches. Yeah. yeah oh, go. my God. <laughs> it's not the man preaching. Preaching, yeah. It's the reality of the, the spirit. spirit that preaches. Yeah. Th- these are places where an understanding changed because mm. the man changed. Mm. And everything he says comes from that place of change. If I did change, mm. it doesn't matter what I what said. I mm. And you will not even be convinced about what I say because... You can sense it's not what I became. True. Okay. Yeah. So if any. Okay. Yeah. So if any. Okay. Yeah. Apart mm. from the gospel of the kingdom of God, mm-hmm. let this man be a cast. Mm. Whether it's an angel, let this angel be a cast. Mm. Now look at this, verse ten. For do I now? And please stay with us now. Stay yeah. closely. This is this is important. Huh? Mm. For do I now persuade men or God? This is my key. goodness. Mm. Or do I seek to please men? Mm there mm. i shouldn't for if i should yet please for if i yet pleased men mm. i should yes. not be the servant but of christ of christ mm-hmm. so he has moved watch these steps now mm-hmm. he has moved from preaching to persuasion, persuasion. Mm. Mm. because he understands that these guys by the way <laughs> in the it's i don't know whether i'm justified <laughs> to say this but i'll say it anyway that in in the in the new church in the, the first church mm. y- you couldn't be a preacher mm. if you're not good at persuasion. persuasion because the gospel was about persuading the hearers mm-hmm. to receive your report and not yes. the report that they had mm-hmm. now paul has come to a place where he's now saying for do i now persuade men of god mm. because he understands that there are two ways in which persuasion mm-hmm. happens mm. There is what we call a carnal persuasion. Yes. And yes. he warns us about this in, in Ephesians chapter number 4. That be, be, be careful. careful. Be careful. Mm-hmm. Because men will come. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. They have the art of persuasion. Yes. Okay? And yes. They, they lie. In fact, the Bible says that they lie mm-hmm. in wait to deceive. Mm-hmm. Some other version says they are crafty in their utterance. There you go. Mm-hmm. So there's that <laughs> persuasion. Yes. After a natural understanding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when we come to the reality of the kingdom, mm. the persuasion is not with words. No. Wow. Wow. The persuasion is not that, guys, you know, the five steps. Mm. You know, <laughs> and it may be used in teaching. Yes. But this persuasion, and, and I hope you guys can flow with us, is in, is in the place of light. True. True. <laughs> yeah. And I need to adjust myself a bit. <laughs> The, the persuasion of light mm. is a radiance. Yes. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's, it's when what I have become begins to radiate mm. out of me. That there's a glory, there's a grace. Mm. It's not something I understand. Mm. It is something that radiates out of me. It's mm. a persuasion. Mm. But this can only happen if mm. you too have the radar mm. of the spirit. Mm. That you can discern that, no, this is not a man. Mm. This mm, does not mm. speak as a man. Yeah. This, this is something else. else. Okay? Yeah. Now, this is what the Lord then begins to bring the kingdom to. Watch this now. Yes. Every time Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom, mm. his persuasions came because men recognized. I love mm. this. They recognize. They say, what, what manner, manner of, of man is this? Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he spake, the stones mm-hmm. listened to him. Yeah. There yeah. was something about Jesus that would persuade the unbeliever. <laughs> it would persuade the unbeliever. Yeah. He says, no, no, no. Okay, I don't believe him. I, mm. I don't believe him, but I, there's, there's something. something about him. <laughs> you, you understand? Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's, he's not my friend. Mm. But there's something about him. Yeah. Now that is what we call revelation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Revelation is what produces persuasion. My God. Hey. Mm. The, the boys were walking on the road to Emmaus. Mm, mm, yeah. You know yes. the story. Yeah. They they talk they, they preach to Jesus <laughs> about Jesus. Jesus. 
This is how far we can be. Okay? They get home until he breaks communion. Yes. And the Bible says their eyes are open. Mm. When their eyes are open, and at that moment, he disappears. Yes. Then they looked at themselves. I said, mm, did not <laughs> fire burn wow. within our bones mm-hmm. when mm. this man was speaking? Yeah. Yeah. That is preaching. That is preaching. That's persuasion. Yes. Yes. That is when men, by revelation, mm. recognize. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, this is a different reality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been caught up into a different reality. Mm. Mm. That's just mm. The Lord will always change our circumstances mm. to release persuasion. My goodness. Now, yeah. sometimes we call them problems. Problems. Sometimes, sometimes we call them circumstances. <laughs> What the Lord is trying to do is he knows yes. that the same way there cannot be a reality without a preaching, mm-hmm. there can be no reality without a persuasion. Mm-hmm. I must be persuaded about these things. Mm. Wow. The Hebrew said about Abraham. Yeah. No, this is not Hebrew. This is Romans, mm. the fourth chapter. Yeah. yeah. He says he was fully, fully. persuaded mm-hmm. that he that promised. Mm. You get yeah. that? Yeah. He, yeah. He, it was preached to him, yes. But then he went to a place of full persuasion. This yes. is this is where now we are moving. We're not there yet. Uh-huh. We're moving closer, closer. Mm-hmm. to having the realities of the kingdom come mm-hmm. to us. Mm-hmm. Now that is why Kesu mm-hmm. Mahanda, mm-hmm. and I'm going to give you a minute now. Mm-hmm. That's a problem. You don't give a preacher the mic. <laughs> now watch this now. That is the part that mm-hmm. you. That is the part that you said. The kingdom is proven. Yes. You see that? Yeah. By yeah. signs. And wonders and miracles. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. Now, if you go back to the Gospels and find out how or why Jesus performed miracles, mm-hmm. the truth is he did it for the unbeliever. That's right. That's <laughs> okay? right. Yeah. So, when the kingdom can't get to the heart of an unbeliever, he proves it. He will prove it. Yeah. Through signs, wonders, and miracles. Now, we mm-hmm. have two problems. Yeah. The first problem we have is for the unbeliever mm-hmm. who sees a sign and is still doubting God. The second is for the believer. <laughs> who can Those only go, be gotten to through a sign. sign. <laughs> oh God. Those are problems, but we'll deal with that another day. <laughs> now, this is my point. My point is that the miracles, mm. the signs that must follow, it says, and these signs mm. shall follow them that believe. I believe. Mm-hmm. That means they are behind. They are behind. My believing is ahead of my signs. Yes. If you get the what I'm saying. Priorities is my believing. Yeah. Now, he says that I'm not trying to persuade men. I. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm not even trying to persuade Sorry. God. Mm. And then he says, do I seek to please men? Mm. He's saying, if you don't get it by now, mm-hmm. I am not going to try to convince you. Yeah, yeah. But let me tell you how I was persuaded. <laughs> let me tell you how yeah. I was convinced. Mm-hmm. And maybe by my story, you will yeah. understand yeah. that it is only revelation mm. that brings persuasion. Mm. So he goes down in verse 11, and please come in now, mm. Mm. where he says, so I certify. Mm. Certify is certificate. Yeah? Mm. Mm-hmm. I, I certify. Mm. This one is proven. Yes. I can prove mm. that the gospel which was preached of me, me is not, not after man. man. Mm-hmm. I did not receive it mm. of man. Mm. I was not taught it by man. Mm. But by the revelation of Jesus mm, Christ. Mm, mm. I had to walk in revelation mm. to receive persuasion. Mm-hmm. And this is the same thing that I'm bringing to, to you. you. Wow. So I have brought two points. Mm-hmm. The first is the kingdom realities must first be preached. preached. Mm-hmm. Number two, the realities must, must become a persuasion. persuasion. Mm-hmm. You can't say, I am the healed of the Lord. It, mm. If somebody preached that to you, it's, it's an amen point. You yes. say, amen. Yeah. I receive, I receive it. Mm. That's just the hearing. Yeah. But are you persuaded? Mm. When you get an opportunity to be sick, mm. <laughs> will, will you even remember? <laughs> are you there? Yeah. Is, is there persuasion in your spirit mm. that this is not an opportunity for me to take? Mm. No, 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 no. No, something must have happened by revelation, by revelation. Yeah. to your spirit to understand yeah. that this is not my portion. Mm. Mm. Take it there, and then before I go to the third, my God, 
for those that are watching us, this is very important. This, this will change how you live, how you believe, yes. yeah, and how you actually experience the fullness of God. One of the greatest things, you know, I have never looked at it that way until now. There you go. All right. And that brings me to Matthew 13, 45, where Jesus gives a parable of this treader that goes seeking for precious pearls. Hmm. All right. One of the greatest things that happens there is that uh, the, this guy on his, on his sojourning uh, happens to find this much high precious treasure. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. He's not talking about the treasure. He's relating the treasure to the kingdom. Yes. All right. So he's saying for this is the gospel. Because later on the disciples ask him, what are you meaning about this parable? And he says, this is the gospel of the I kingdom of God. I liken it to the kingdom. Yes, I liken it to the kingdom of God. He says, for it is like this trader that sojourns or travels journeys. And when he finds this pearl, he buries it. Watch this. He buries it, goes back home, and, and sells everything. Actually, he gives out everything he has just to keep this one. This man had to have a revelation of what he found that then led to a persuasion in his spirit to go and give up what he had. The realities of the kingdom will always bring a distinction between the things of the natural there you go. and the things of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Because that reality will actually paint a clear portrait mm -hmm. that if I can't give up what is worldly. I can't then reserve to myself what is spiritual. You know, you're, you're, you're doing something to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this man, this trader, realized that there, there is something about this reality that I cannot mix new wine with old tides. All right? So now, Paul now comes to say, now I want to make this known to you. That this revelation of received persuaded me into this gospel. Mm -hmm. This reality then framed something in me. That mm -hmm. now I want it to frame some. You will have to give up something mm -hmm. to gain this. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's why even in Mark, Jesus, if you read through the whole new, uh, the new covenant, the New Testament, mm -hmm. there is always a word that Jesus always used. And even, you know, Paul keeps on using. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Jesus comes in Mark and says, don't you know for... It is written, yeah. don't you know, that yeah. my father's house shall be a house of prayer. Yeah. Paul says, don't you know in, Cor in 1 Corinthians 3 and 6, that your, body that your bodies a are a temple of God. There has to be revelation for you to actually understand what you are. <laughs> you know why I'm going to put you on the bricks? I know we have a few, <laughs> I have a few, we have a few more minutes yes. here. But we'll try to keep doing this. I, yes. I believe if this is blessing you, write mm -hmm. back to us. Let us know. Yeah. So we can keep pushing this. Mm. Now, this is the part I, w I had to stop you. Because yes. this is going to be a good part for <laughs> us to move towards the close. Yes. Is once a man has persuasion, mm. then the man makes choices. Choices. Glory. And his choices will always be undebatable. Mm. Mm. He knows something that he knows in his knowing. Yes. <laughs> Deep down in the know. Yes. He knows. Mm. Now, this is revelation. Mm -hmm. So, I, I am not in revelation if I'm still debating. Debating. If, mm. if it is either or, mm. then I'm not I'm in not revelation there. yet. Mm. Mm -hmm. The other is when you talk about that dividing line. Yes. And I, I, I thought you were peeping into my notes, but <laughs> I know you're not. <laughs> but listen. Yeah. This is the dividing line between mm. the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and the kingdom of the world. Wow. It's the dividing line yes. between flesh and, and spirit. spirit. It's the dividing line yes. between a carnal understanding mm -hmm. and a spiritual understanding. Mm -hmm. It's the dividing line between mm. the old man and, and the, the new man. man. It's the yeah. dividing line. Revelation that caused persuasion mm. caused a man to cross the borders. Now yes. I'm either on the left on or the right. on the right. I mm. don't have some left on my right and mm. I don't have some right on, on my, my left. <laughs> it's, 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 it's two different places. Yes. Now this is when the reality of the spirit mm. begins to be engraved. This same church to Galatians, he says, yes. I pray for you like I labor that mm. Christ, Christ 
may mm. be formed in you. He's yes. talking about revelation. Yeah. That you may come to the point where you will not even ask me why I say what I say. Mm -hmm. It's mm. not a place of improvement. It's, mm. it's a place of transformation. Lord, I have Shabba become. Shabba. He says, mm. still Galatians. Mm. This was a church. He really spoke stuff. My he God. says, no, no, no. Now I no longer live. Mm. I have crossed the blind. Mm -hmm. I no longer live mm -hmm. the life that I live in the flesh. No, mm -hmm. I live by the faith of the Son of Man My God. who died for me and gave everything for me. Yes. I'm, I'm not there anymore. Mm -hmm. He said it in chapter number two. But mm -hmm. when it pleased God mm -hmm. who separated me mm -hmm. in my mother's womb, yeah. You know, so he separated Saul from Paul. Paul. He said, mm. immediately, watch mm. this persuasion, mm. I mm. conferred but not. not. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a reference point mm. with flesh and blood. blood. So what did he confer? He conferred to the spiritual God. realities. Now, this is where the kingdom of God comes. Yeah. It's the place where this man mm. that had the gospel, the mm. preaching, yes. has now moved, moved to the place of persuasion. persuasion. Yeah. Once I get to the place of persuasion, I'm now ready to make a decision. Yeah. And these decisions will always be after the man of man the of spirit. spirit. Yeah. Now the problem yeah. here is yeah. that a man who hasn't been preached to, mm. a man who has not yet been persuaded, mm -hmm. who hasn't gotten the revelation of the kingdom of God, yes. cannot be a man who can make decisions for the kingdom of mm. God. Mm. Now the one way I can know that the realities of the kingdom have begun to work in my life mm. is how I'm making choices. Yes. yes. Now this is the place of response. Yes. Mm -hmm. how am I responding to the things that are coming to me because mm. these now begin to magnify the reality yes. that I am living in Yes. now this place which we have remember and I'm trying to take the guys back mm -hmm. is he said let the man be a curse who has not been preached the gospel yes. so this gospel mm. is a gospel that must be preached yes. and it's the gospel of yes. the kingdom of God yes. number two mm. this man must be persuaded Yes. there must be a persuasion mm -hmm. and when he says I'm not trying to persuade Watch, I like how he says, I'm not even trying to persuade God. <laughs> you know why he says that? Because he knows yes. that God has set into motion mm. the realities of the spirit. He doesn't need to be persuaded by my praise and worship. No. Not my special seed. Mm. No, God mm. is not persuaded. Mm. God set into motion mm. the realities of the spirit. Mm. That for as long as I am obedient mm. to the motions that cause these things to happen, mm. they will happen. And mm. I don't even have to refer to God for those things to happen. Masha. That's a powerful truth. Mm. So then he moves to verse number 11. Mm. And he says that I was not taught it mm. by man, man. And this is where we're closing now. Yes. But by the revelation Lation. of mm. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yes. Now yes. the revelation of Jesus Christ. This is now the person. Mm. 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 My goodness. This is. It, it's the highest you can go. Yes. Yeah. And I keep saying it in, 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 in these teachings that we will look at here later, okay? Because I say, after Jesus has been revealed, mm. there's no more need for prophecy. Yeah, now, yeah. people fight that because they want prophecy, <laughs> prophecy. outside of Jesus yeah, Christ. That's right. But when a man sees Jesus, mm. Mm. when the revelation, you know, later, I'll read it to you here. In verse, in verse 15, it says, But when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, mm. verse 16, mm. to reveal... reveal. Yes. His son in me that I might, might preach, preach. Mm -hmm. him among the heathen. Immediately yes. I confer not with flesh and blood. Yeah. Yeah. So Christ revealed. When he was revealed in Paul. Mm. So first the gospel is preached. Mm. Mm, mm. It persuades men into this reality. Yeah. It sets up men mm. for the reality of Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, yeah. So the end of this reality, that, mm. I mean the pursuit of every man who wants to walk in revelation mm. must be that line. Yeah. That yeah. Christ yeah. might be revealed in me. Christ in me. Mm. The hope of glory. Mm. So I was not taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus of Christ. Jesus now, Christ. Of course, mm. Yeah. This does not negate the teaching ministry. Mm. <laughs> I, I know some, some, some people who say, I don't need to be taught. Yes. Paul wasn't taught. I don't need to be taught. Mm. Understand what he said. Mm. He is not talking about the teaching of the gospel. Yeah. Because later you will see that after that encounter, mm. he goes. Yeah. And he starts to research with some of those boys. Mm. And later on, of course, comes back to Jerusalem, has a, a meal with Peter. Yeah. Now, this is talking about... Mm revelation not being taught. taught. Not the gospel. Mm -hmm. This is revelation. Yes. 
that what happened to me it wasn't taught to me mm, mm, mm. yeah i don't have a book okay i wasn't following a certain guideline yeah. of what was but revealed, revealed in me mm-hmm. but what was revealed was the person of yes, jesus, of jesus. Christ. Yeah. yeah something happened to paul mm. on the road to damascus yes that christ was revealed mm. to the inside of his spirit yeah so that what was revealed now becomes he says that i might preach it yeah so when paul speaks to men mm. Mm. he's speaking from a certain place, place. Mm-hmm. of the revelation of jesus christ yes but the problem and i use that problem <laughs> with the revelation of jesus christ mm. is it makes a man yes a certain, a certain kind, kind of man. Yeah. When Jesus was revealed to Paul, mm. he killed Paul. Yes. And it made Paul a man of the spirit that yes. no longer lives for the world. Yes. Now all of his life is for the propagation of the kingdom of God. Yes. So the gospel of the kingdom. Mm. Mm. Just before we give our closing remarks. Yes. The gospel of the kingdom. Yeah. Part A. He's the finished works of, of Jesus. Jesus. Everything yeah. he did for us. And yes. you know, redemption, justification, mm. sanctification. Everything Jesus did. Yes. The gospel. Yes. Part B. Mm. Now, between part A and part B is the persuasion. persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> is the man receives by faith. Yes. What yes. was done by Jesus. Hallelujah. But now we move to the person mm. of Jesus Christ. Mm is something must happen yeah this gospel must make me somebody, me somebody. Mm. and the epitome of what i must become is jesus christ yes yes that we may grow into what the, the measure, measure. Mm. Of, of the stature, stature. Mm. of the fullness mm. of christ. christ now if anybody preaches mm. <laughs> any <laughs> other gospel mm. that does not persuade a man mm. To step into the reality of the spirit called Christ. Christ. Mm-hmm. And become that person of Christ. Mm. If any man preach any other gospel. Mm. That does not cause you to stop making decisions. Yeah. Mark yeah. Zelle, yeah. Yeah. If a gospel does not take you to the place. Masai where you're not Haiba. thinking about giving. Mm. It just happens. You're mm. not deciding about mm. worship. Mm. Mm. Uh, prayer is not on on your to do to do list. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's oh a place, man. Oh, mm. if I can get, if the gospel cannot get you to that place, mm. let that gospel be a curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the purpose of this gospel of the kingdom mm. is to shift a man's realities, and mm. the only way that's going to happen is if you're changed, changed. into the same image. image. Yeah. From glory to glory. glory. Yeah. Through the revelation mm. of Jesus Christ. Mm. 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 And that is what we wanted yeah. to share with you. Now, this glory. is just the beginning. Of course, there's just too much here. And mm-hmm. every time I turn to look into the scripture, <laughs> I see something. But I'm going to ask you to just give us your closing remarks yeah. Yeah. before I come in and just tie this up for yeah. the people who have been able to join us today. Yeah. He gave man dominion and he gave man choice. So man has sovereignty, but then man also has the liberty to choose what he receives from God or what he allows in his life. Mm-hmm. This is so much important and necessary for how you live your life. One of the things that I want, uh, you know, we've been talking about a man that is able to uh, uh, bring the gospel to you is one man that has stepped into revelation and one man that is in the place of revelation. And one of the things that hit my spirit is Matthew 23, um, 13. Jesus speaks to the Pharisees. In verse 13 and says, but woe to you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. There's a reason why he uses hypocrites. Because they are preaching some gospel. (laughs) They are not what they are preaching, all right? Uh, For you shut up the kingdom of heaven. Now we said earlier on that really we are not talking about just the kingdom. We're talking about revelation. We're not just talking about the gospel. We're talking about revelation. You shut out, you shut up revelation. Mm, mm. Uh, against, against men, men. yeah for you neither go in, in yourselves for no do you allow those who who are entering to go in yes. so you you are shutting out people because you yourself you are absent of that place and this is very important 
people can never speak about the realities of the spirit because you know they are not yet in so even what we speak is a mystery so the only good you have is to keep people in the wanting in the natural that is why you know whenever he says seek first the kingdom his other word, pursue revelation because when you get revelation you'll get my heart and when you get revelation you cease to pursue the things that the the hypocrite is actually inviting you to pursue these are the treasures of the world actually timothy he says for these things he mentions the things of the world where he says riches gold silver these are the things that god is telling you to actually defer away from do not pursue them why because when you get the gospel of the realities of the spirit <laughs> Oh, glory to God. Unless the Father draws you in, no man can come to Christ. No man can come to the fullness of the nature and the stature of Christ until the Father draws you into revelation. And it is by His Spirit. The Bible says, for it is His Spirit that gives life. So not until you step into the realms of the Spirit, you're not yet living. Flesh yeah, the flesh prophet is nothing. So the spirit must bring you to the full life. Uh, if you're watching us right now, this is this is this is the place that will seize everything around you and your demands of the flesh. One time I told somebody, you know, God never created His sons to be employed, and they looked at me as uh, a defector of life. <laughs> Why? Because it's a reality. There's a reason why God had to create Eden before he could create man. Yeah. So that man can cease to pursue the things and actually have more time in pursuing the revelation of God. Go. That's why man was able to name the things that the flesh man could not name. Yeah. Because he was walking in the place of revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number two, he was leaving revelation. And he, you know, the Bible says he would hear the voice of God and he would take a walk. How can it be that you hear the voice and you walk with them? There has to be a reality where the voice is the same as the being. Yes. You hear him and he walks in you. Mm. So we're talking about stepping into the place of revelation. If you're watching us, when you step into this reality, you will cease to pursue the things of the reality because now you walk with Christ. He is one with you, beholding him as in a mirror. My God, if you're watching us right now, I pray, Grace, that this reality today may not be just a conversation that you had or you watched over Facebook, but something must happen. If any man therefore be in Christ, he's a new creature. He's a new, the Bible says, he's a new species and a new breed of being. Yes. Because now you no longer live in the old things. Yes. Now the new man has adapted and adopted the realities of the spirit now you walk and you know this is a place where your shadow heals men oh glory uh, le, le, let's <laughs> oh glory apostle yeah, we, 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 we're going to take this to everywhere it can go mm. and I believe that in these few minutes that we've had with you, you you've got an opportunity to get hungry because that's our assignment is yes. to make you hungry the yes. Bible says come hungry yes and the hungry shall be filled the thirsty shall be filled you don't even have to know what we are saying. Mm. Listen, we, we can go on and on. And uh, there's just a lot that we can just put in to this teaching. But I hope you've been able to get the gist of today's teaching. And I'm going to quickly, as I pray with you, run you through the three things that we have talked about today. The kingdom of God is a spiritual reality. Never forget that. It's not a natural reality. It's a spiritual reality. And it is only by revelation that a man walks in this reality. Revelation is not new knowledge. Revelation is the transformative power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to say that again. When you say I have revelation, I'm not saying I have new knowledge about something. No, I have in fact become somebody else by what I just heard. It's the transformative power of the Holy Ghost. Three things that you can't forget today. And we got it from Galatians chapter number one. The first thing that you must remember 
is that the reality must be preached. For the preachers, we have to keep preaching this reality. For the believer, you must put yourself in an environment where you're not hearing a gospel. You are hearing the gospel of the kingdom of God. It must be preached. If it is not announced, if it is not preached, the reality cannot be born. You remember, Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he hath anointed me to mm. preach the good news to the poor. This reality had to come to the poor through the preaching. If you still go through all the verses, you'll understand that even the deliverance to the captives is preached. The opening of blind eyes is preached. In the realm of the spirit, realities are never framed until they are first preached. What are you listening to? What gospel are you listening to? This is my first prayer. If there is any other gospel that has come to you that does not perfect you in the realities of the kingdom, let that gospel be a cast. But I pray that the Lord will release you into an environment where you begin to hear the realities of the kingdom of God. Number two, after this gospel is preached, there must be a persuasion. It is in persuasion that faith arises. It is in persuasion that decisions are made. It is in persuasion that you recognize that, wait a minute, I once was blind, but now I can see. This persuasion is the dividing line. By revelation, you are persuaded. You know that you know that you know. And I pray that the Lord will begin to persuade these realities. What does that mean? It doesn't matter how long you have been carnal or natural. Revelation brings speed. <laughs> mm. The word of God is quick. It's alive. It divides soul and spirit. Bone and marrow. And is a discerner of the intents and the thoughts of a man's heart. That the word that was preached can begin to divide. And once it begins to divide, realities begin to change. I pray now in the name of Jesus that there will come a persuasion in your spirit. A knowing that is only by the deposits of the spirit of God. May that be your portion because you have plugged in today in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, this persuasion is the line between flesh and spirit. Number three, I'm praying for you. After it has been preached, after the persuasion has begun to arise in your spirit, May you now move to the place of personification. Where you become the person of this revelation. Paul said that Christ had to be revealed in me. That's the only way that Paul died and Christ began to live in him. You know, this is not a fight. <laughs> I know that it's debated about spirit and flesh. About the fight between spirit and flesh. That stuff only happens in the realm of persuasion. That's where the fight is. Should I or shouldn't I? The things I want to do, I don't do. Those are in the realm of persuasion. But in the realm of personification, this is the transformation stage. This is when I become somebody else. At this time, there is no fight. There is flow. I'm flowing with what the Lord is speaking. Obedience is automatically being produced in me. The fruits of the Spirit are being produced out of me. The realities of the Spirit are being produced out of me. I pray grace over you in the name of Jesus. That you may step into this place. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Listen, if you're watching on Facebook, just like this and share this with your friends. If you're watching it on YouTube, make sure that you have subscribed to our channel. Now let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus. The word goes out in power and in demonstration. Listen. May everything that doesn't line up with the kingdom of God in your life be put under subjection. And may the kingdom of God bring about new realities today in Jesus' mighty name. From today, may old man become new man. May old wine be tossed out. And may you become that container that receives new wine. May the realities of the kingdom be established in your spirit. And more than anything else, may the Lord increase revelation in your spirit, 
in Jesus mighty name we'll be back again to bring more ministry to you but right now pray in the Holy Ghost release yourself right now as we sign out let us sign out as you pray in the Holy Ghost the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ come on the love of God our Father the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with our soul now and forever worship him worship him Shantele brudo stele bele zutele bele hada shide bele anda ha koshu telika. Come on, come on. We are giving you a minute. Mandi su breda zitele mende ziti librika suba hada. In our hearts, bless everybody. Bless everybody that's watching this. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let's go out with the worship. Yeah?